Hello my friends, Ahsoka the Geek here, and for this review, we're taking a look at the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, The Dark Knight Trilogy, Lucius Fox, and Tumblr. Uh, first of all, you might notice I am not in the Shed of Solitude. I'm actually in my living room. I have a, a little baby, and you know, my, mom, my wife is out with my oldest at soccer, so I have to watch the little baby tonight, of course, more than happy to, but uh, Sally, the baby monitor, it doesn't work very well in the old shed of solitude, so we're going to do this uh, review from the living room, so uh, we'll see how this goes, but yeah, let's just dive right into it. So as you can see, the uh, tumbler is already outside of the packaging. You see the packaging in the in the back here. If you're interested, it's a pretty basic box. You have a 3D image. Here, let me zoom out for a sec there. Of Lucius Fox and the Tumblr. Not much to this. Uh, the back's okay. The back's pretty nice. They try to recreate some scenes from the, the movies there. There's uh, Batman and Lucius Fox. There's the steps of the courthouse from The Dark Knight Rises. So there's some artwork there. So that's something, but pretty pretty ba basic box. You'll also notice the gold label uh, logo on there. Yes, this is a gold label release, meaning it's only available at the McFarland Toys online store on, or on the McFarland Toys online website. So if you're interested in it, you will need to pick it up there. You can see my sofa peeking through in the background there, but uh, sorry. All right, so let's get into what you get in this set. You obviously get Lucius Fox and the Tumblr. <clears throat> Excuse me. There is the trading card that it comes with, recreating that digital artwork. Not, you know, not the best, but you know, it's something. There's the trading card. There's the data data file. Lucius comes with an extra set of hands. He also comes holding a cell phone, and he actually has another cell phone that is not attached to his hand that fell behind one of my shelves, but it's basically the same sh cell phone if you can make it out there, so a little black cell phone. And then Lucia, there's Lucius Fox, and there's the stand that it comes with, and then here is the, the Batmobile, of course. But before we get into the Batmobile, let's talk about Lucius Fox, Morgan Freeman. So... I am so excited to have a Morgan Freeman, Lucius Fox action figure. You know, I love the movie figures McFarlane Toys has done. I hope we get a Gary Oldman, uh, Rachel Dawes. I would love a Maggie Gyllenhaal and a, a um, gosh, Katie Holmes, uh, Rachel Dawes. I would love a uh, Two Face, un Two Faced, uh, just Harvey Dent. Uh, would love all of the supporting characters because I just love the movies and I love building out my movie shelves. Well, I want to say that because they're all mixed together, but you know what I mean. I like having all the movie characters and that we have a Morgan Freeman. I believe this might be one of the first Morgan Freeman figures ever done. I'm trying to think back if the old Kenner Robin Hood line had a Morgan Freeman action figure. Uh, do they have an Azim action figure? I don't know. I'll have to go Google that after this. But nevertheless, I think this looks fantastic. This looks like Morgan Freeman. Just, just amazing. Great sculpt there. There is, you know, his suit that he's wearing with the bow tie. The only thing I don't like about this figure is this cut in the middle there. That's so they, that allows for articulation. And that just always bothers me when they have figures like this. It always looks like they have a rip in their shirt. So I wish they just to give him any articulation in the middle there. You know, I don't need Lucius to be that articulated, for my taste anyways. But that's my only gripe with this figure. Other than that, I think this is a great rendition of Lucius Fox. There he is in some action poses. If you're going to do some action poses with Morgan Freeman, please, please do so. He has some good range of motion there. I'm excited to see what customizers do with this body. But um, there he is. There is Lucius Fox. So just so stoked that we got this figure. I hope we get, again, a Gary Oldman, uh, Commissioner Gordon, or an Alfred. Uh, I would love to see the Bat, the, the you know, the... The, the Dark Knight Trilogy's version of the Batwing, the Bat from the, the Dark Knight Rises. I love that vehicle so much, and I would love to see that. And that would be a perfect, you know, a vehicle to throw in another character with. But anyways, so there's Lucius Fox. I think he looks fantastic. Well done, McFarlane Toys, on a great Lucius Fox figure. All right, without further ado, let's take a look at the Batmobile. All right, so let's talk about the Tumblr here. So... 
just kind of my personal viewpoint on the Tumblr itself, uh, aside from the toy. It is one of my favorite Batmobiles. Honestly, I like most of the Batmobiles. The the one I'm least excited for is the Batman's Batmobile. It's a cool-looking car, but that would probably be my last as far as Batmobiles go. But the Tumblr, I love the Tumblr. It is just a beast, just such a unique-looking vehicle. And I just I just love it so much. I just love the Tumblr. I have the Hot Toys version, the Jada Toys version, the Hot Wheels version. I think I still have the Mattel version somewhere. So yeah, I I am a fan of the Tumblr as as far as the design goes, the concept behind it. I just love it. I know it's a, it's a beast, it's a fat Batmobile, and that's probably one of the things I love about it. Just like the angles you can see, like look at that. Just oh, just so beautiful from a design perspective. Now, how did McFarland Toys do? translating this design to a plastic toy for seven inch figures i think they did a great job just like my first emotional reaction to this is i love it it looks fantastic excited to have it displayed i think it looks great uh, for the mcfarlane line uh the, i do have a few couple of issues with it so i think first of all my biggest issue with it is the weathering it's funny if you watch my last review on the white knight batmobile i mentioned how it could have used some paint and this is a vehicle that didn't need paint really because well if it did have paint it should have been jet black because i don't remember it ever having any sort of weathering on it i mean when he gets it from lucius it's pretty much just been painted when you see it in the dark night there's no weathering or even damage on it even when it gets destroyed spoiler alert in the dark night and the bat pod emerges from it it's pretty much in pristine condition up until it blows up. So you never see it weathered. Oops. You never see it battle damaged. In the Dark Knight Rises, you never see this version of the Tumblr in, in it because the other ones were all the um, camouflage painted ones. So it just bothers me that this has weathering on it. I think it looks nice. They did a great job with the weathering. When I say weathering, it's the silver around the edges there. I think that looks great, but I just never saw it like that in the movies. And that's what I'm representing it on. It's just like the, the Tim Burton Batmobile, right? You never saw it weathered or really battle damaged. It was just always pristine. It just always jet black. And, you know, that's what I would expect. So I wouldn't want to see any weathering on that either. Like Ben Affleck's Batmobile, that thing was beat up. In the movie, you see that it had been through a lot. It had been around for a while. So that was fine to see weathering on that Batmobile. But this one should not have any weathering. So, again, that's my only big nitpick with this is just that. But still, I love this Batmobile. I think it looks fantastic. A few other things I noticed. I think these pieces here protrude a little too too much. I don't think they stick out this much in the movie, and they definitely stick out a little too much on the vehicle. And then a lot of people have pointed this out. The back tires are just a little bit too small and don't stick out farther enough. Uh, let me show you a comparison here. So this is the Jada Toys Batmobile. And I believe this is a little bit more accurate as far as the back tires go. They're just bigger and stick out more, whereas here you can see these ones are just a bit smaller and don't stick out as much. So you can see the Jada Toys one, they stick out pretty nicely, but this one they do not. But that doesn't bother me too much at all. Oops. When I'm looking at it, it doesn't distract me from the Batmobile. Like looking at it from this angle, we'll even put the Jada Toys one next to it. You know, they both look great and the uh, McFarlane one looks fantastic. Uh, other thing you'll notice is the Jada Toys one does have the longer fins or whatever these things are the McFarlane ones are a little smaller a little shorter but that's fine I mean they had to make some um you know compromises for making this vehicle for seven inch figures that they produce so I'm fine with that again overall just my emotional reaction to this this is the the tumbler it looks fantastic those are just nitpicks I still highly recommend this if you do want to own a, a Batmobile uh, so what does it do? Does it do anything? It doesn't line up, but you can definitely put some figures in the cockpit. So if I cl click the button there, you can see Lucius and Batman are sitting very comfortably in this two-seater. What I like about this is I didn't have to fiddle with it to get them in there. I didn't have to hunch Batman over and dig them deep in there for, for it to fit properly. They fit in there and they have room to spare. So I really appreciate that uh, the figures sit in there nicely. It's nice to always have a two-seater when you can. I mean, the way this tumbler is designed or this Batmobile is designed, it's you know it made sense for it to be a two-seater. It would have been funny if it was a one-seater, but uh, it was nice that they, they're able to do the, the two-seater with this Batmobile. 
but yeah, I love this Batmobile. My nitpicks aside, I think it looks fantastic. Um, but anyways, let's see how it looks next to a few other McFarlane Batmobiles. All right, there's the Batmobile next to the Keaton Batmobile on your. There we go. Raise it up a little bit on your right, and the White Knight Batmobile on your left. I'm not gonna get uh, too close and do too much because my you don't want to see my messy living room. My wife would be very upset if you see more of my living room in this video. Uh, but I will post a YouTube short doing a better comparison. And if you head on over to my Instagram, Ahsoka the Geek, I actually already have a comparison up on there as well. But yeah, it looks great. I mean, it looks great to all these Batmobiles. It's just so cool that we're getting this many Batmobiles. I wish we weren't getting so many many in the same few months because it's getting pricey <laughs> the the tumbler and the white knight batmobile literally were released within weeks of each other so you know hey but i am so looking forward to if they do the batman forever and the batman and robin batmobiles i love those batmobiles so much so yeah just keep them coming mcfarland toys and especially with the comic book stuff that we got a white knight batmobile is just fantastic i think i've said fantastic quite a bit in this uh, in this review but there you go there's a look at the tumblr i believe this is still available on the mcfarland toys site if you are so interested i would definitely not pass this up if you ever if you do have some interest in getting it now and you're able to since this is a gold label exclusive, I would imagine it's only going to go higher up in price once it leaves the McFarland website and uh, hits the secondary market. So if you do have any interest in getting this Batmobile, I definitely recommend it. It's it's a nice Batmobile. It's a beautiful Batmobile. You, you, my critiques aside, I still love it and glad I picked it up. Anyways, let me know what other questions you have in the comments below. And um, I'm more than happy to to answer them. But yeah, there it is. There's your look at the McFarland Toys Batmobile. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.